chosen generation called for to show his excellence all i require for life god has given me and i know who I are you a chosen generation we are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence all i require for life god has given me do you know who you are? Hallelujah. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. When he says I'm last, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. When he says I'm last, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of faith, but I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Can you see his glory? I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Can you see his glory? I know who I am. to show his excellence. All I require for life. All I require for life. God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. Where he says I am. Where he says I'm at. I know who I am. to the Lord. He's been so good to us. Hallelujah. Just give the Lord a wave offering. Move your body, move your feet, move your arms. God has been so good. Hallelujah. So we'll say to him, Lord,
gonna dance, I'm gonna dance, gonna dance, I'm gonna dance. Hallelujah. I don't see anyone dancing. When I see the best dancer, we'll move. I'm gonna dance and praise him. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. More than victorious. I'm a heir of his kingdom. And I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I rejoice. Greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. More than, more than victorious. I'm a man. I'm a hell of a And I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I rejoice. Greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. More than Victoria. I'm the head of his kingdom. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I rejoice. Celebrate our God. Let 
his body be raised and his glory be seen. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate. We will celebrate our God. Let his body be raised and his glory be seen. We will celebrate our God. to celebrate God because he has been faithful because he has been loving because he has been caring because he has come through for us he has broken through for us even in times when we've been unfaithful so this evening we just want to reflect on the goodness of God we want to reflect on the greatness of God we want to reflect on the power and might of the almighty God so join us this evening to sing how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All oh, will see how great, how great is our God.
is our God. Is our God. How great is our God. Now we'll see how great. How great. How great. How great is our God. Is our God. Age to age. Age to age, he stands. Time is in his hands. Time is in his hands. Beginning at the end. Beginning at the end. The
love and beauty endless world nothing in this world will satisfy Jesus you're the cup that will run dry sing your presence your presence is that
Just whisper sweet words to the Lord. Remember all that He has done for us. He has been faithful. He has been merciful. He has been kind. He has given us another opportunity to be in His midst this evening. Invite His presence even stronger in our midst. That as we sing, as we pray, that the Lord will do a work in our hearts. Let's just pray that the Lord will rid us of any things in our lives that do not please Him. Yes, 
voices and just worship the Lord, worship the Lord for everything that he is to us, all that he has been, everything that he has done, 
for all the victories he has won for us, the battles he has fought for us, the ones we don't know, the ones we know, for delivering us from the snare of the fowler. Let's just worship him, thanking him, thanking him, because he has been faithful, truly faithful, truly, truly faithful. What a God. He says in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He is the God who formed this earth, who called this earth into motion. When he spoke, even the wind obeys. Hallelujah. Most high, you are, you are, yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most you high, are the Lord. yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most high, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. You are, you are the Lord. Most high, you are the Lord. yes. Let's begin to pray in tongues as that song is going on right now. Let's begin to pray in tongues tonight. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Lira rose ge de bahanda kada bro hondo shata ega do 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 si te de ke de ega da do so to bahali bro hondo shata kala bradia ega rose te bali bo ko sata da bradia le bo sata pega do do ko se te le bahanda shata kala di indra do se te kadi bo ko do shanda kala bradia as a church let's begin to pray in other tongues tonight mande ge de 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 bo sata la bahanda shata kala bradia. Iga luso to prahanda shata kala bradi marose to prahadi gede de bande gede de basata la bradi librado se te gadide de di ando se to prahadi kala di marose ta da prahanda shata kala bradi mande de 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 basata la prahanda shata kala bradi librado se to bradi de 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 bonda sata la bradi riba basata la prahanda shata kala bradi Nande de 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 basata ya la ba da ba da 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 re ba da 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 ba cha cha da 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 ba da 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 for about 30 seconds in God's presence. Let's just maintain silence for about 30 seconds in His presence. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name tonight. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for the wonderful time of worship and praising your presence tonight, Lord. We bless your holy name, Father. We thank you, Father, for healings in the room tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for healings in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, tonight for healings in the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight for healings in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We say thank you from the bottom of our heart. Lord, for everything you're doing in our midst, we bless you, Lord. Take all the praise, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 
while still standing, I just want us to welcome the father of the house, our very own father, Bishop Foster Doe, tonight as he comes with the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is excited about the word tonight? Amen. Who is excited about the word tonight? Amen. Is somebody excited about the word tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So please put your hands together as we welcome our father, Bishop Amen. Foster Doe. God bless you, sir. Worship is the primary reason for which we are called to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. The primary reason for which we are saved to give to God that which the demons can't offer. And therefore God made us for that purpose. And when we lost our identity, the Lord starved in worship. But God is restoring the saints unto worship. It's been quite a long time we have experienced a journey like this. And I tell you, enough of this can take me to heaven. Amen. And I'm okay with it. The Bible said God dwell in the praises of his people. He dwell in the praises of his people. It's the only offering you can give to God. Amen. It's the only offering you can give to God. The Bible call it our living sacrifices. Amen. And unblemished sacrifices. The sacrifices that ooze from the death of our spirit unto God. When men begin to see God in the temple mm. because obstructions have been removed. Things that cover their view, that deter them. Things that confuses them are no more. And men and women are releasing their faith to touch God in the heavenlies. We touch God through the atmosphere of worship. Through the atmosphere of worship, we touch him and he touches us. He touches us. We touch God, and God also touch us through the atmosphere of worship. Amen. We create an environment for God to dwell. We create an environment for God to dwell. Praise and worship, telling God of his greatness, his majesty, his honor, his power. That is uncompared with any other, telling God who he is. Hallelujah. The soul that is starved of worship is completely dead. Mm. But worship revive our souls again Amen. in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we intend to sacrifice worship, praise, and adoration to God. Hallelujah. Amen. As an expression of thankfulness to the King of Kings for who he is and for what he he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll be ministering to you, but I'm taking my time to do that. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mandy, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm told you have to come in at a certain time. Is that correct? You are to come in. It, it, she's to come in at a certain time. Mm. But I think you... Uh, pardon? It's at the end. It's at the end. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, you will stay here. You're not going to sit. Because you made me stand for one hour. <laughs> so there will be no seat for you people. You are watch people, gatekeepers. Amen? Amen. Gatekeepers, you hold in your hand the touch for the sacrifice. Amen. Amen. You have in your hand what? The touch for the sacrifice. So keep standing. If you are fainting, just faint on my shoulder. <laughs> I will be able to carry you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's live to worship to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, begin to express your love to God. Father, Give him those love words. Hallelujah. Give him those love words. Hallelujah. Give him those love words. Hallelujah. He is the Lord. He is the King. He is the Lord of Lords. 
He is the king of kings. Who is like unto him? Who is like unto him? The Lord our God. The Lord our God. The Lord our Savior. The Lord our Redeemer. The Lord. The glorious one. You are exalted in the midst of your people tonight. We worship the king of kings. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exalt the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Yes, Lord. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul.
his holy name. Bless his holy name. Holy. Bless his holy name. Lift your voice. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Save my life. He has done great things. You give me life. He has done great things. Bless His soul. We bless His name, Lord. He abandons Satan and Amosian. He has done great things. 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 Clap offering, give the King of Kings a resounding clap offering. Somebody give the Lord a resounding clap offering. Hallelujah. He's my Lord. I don't know about you, but He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's the King of all kings. The power that subdue thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities. He is my Lord, He is my King. I will worship Him forever. Hallelujah. Give Him the praise, give the Lord the praise. Give Him the praise, give the Lord the praise. Give Him the praise, give the Lord the praise. Give Him the praise, give Him the praise. Give Him the praise. Oh, He has done great things. Hallelujah. He has done great things. I will thank you forever. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great Satakayande. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Praise God. Praise God. My children always say, Daddy, you have an oracle in your mouth. 
And therefore, whatever you say comes to pass. That's what they always say. So I'm always very careful not to say negative things against them. But when I get angry sometimes and I say something negative, it comes to pass. But then I get affected as well. But I've learned to always say positive things. This night in Jesus' mighty name, I say, may the God that you seek in this temple find you. Amen. Locate you wherever you will be in every circumstance, in every situation. The God of heaven, the God that you seek in this temple, locate you. Amen. Find you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A mighty clap offering to the Lord. Amen. May you take your seats shortly and then you will come and finish what you have started. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. Hallelujah. For Jesus, give them a hand. Hallelujah. Give them a hand. I'm going to exhort. I'm going to exhort in a few minutes and then they will come back and finish what they have started. Praise the name of the Lord. Which means that you don't go far away. There's a sitting place for you. If you defy my right to sit at where I have located for you, then I'm going to fight you. Have you heard me? Those of you who are going through the back, I've told you, sit at your place. All right. I don't fight anyway. The Lord is good. Tonight, I want to welcome Pastor um, Pastor Paul in our midst tonight. Hallelujah. Give him a clap offering. Welcome him to our midst. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Paul, I think you are here with your children. Amen. Hallelujah. Half of the bunch are here. Oh, glorious, 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 glorious. Good things are ahead. Amen. You, you will come and bless us. It's good to see a mother. Amen. Sister Gwen, welcome to the meeting. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, if you have your Bible, just pick it. Pick your Bible. And I want you to look at, look at the first, look at um, Ephesians chapter 3. The, the scripture which we read to open the meeting. Ephesians chapter 3 and look at verse number 10. Verse number 10 to verse 12. The Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, says, To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in the heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. There is an insight, a secret in God, which God failed to reveal to the principalities and powers. Satan doesn't know God's eternal plan for redemption. The devil doesn't know God's eternal plan for redemption. He has unleashed his demonic forces on an errand to cause mayhem for which Jesus was arrested. The word is that arrested. He was arrested for a crime he had not committed. The forces that were behind the captivation of Jesus were under the influence of demonic powers. Demons Spiritual wickedness. Satan and his cohorts are on a leash to destroy humankind. They are on a leash to destroy humankind. They demonstrate some kind of strength, dominion, and control over us. But unknown to them that Jesus was going to conquer them. Jesus was going to defeat them. Everybody's attention should be, this is not a drama. Look at me. Because I've seen that your attention is there. And the principalities are drawing your attention there. Because mm, I know how the devil works. 
Leave him. Leave, leave him. If you want to be with him, leave him. Is that, is that your third child? Which you took away from us. Leave him. Leave, leave him. Le no, leave him. Hello, Maya. Leave him. Leave him. Leave the child. Leave him. Okay. Oh, that's what you are talking there. Then I think you should go. <laughs> you should go for now, okay? <laughs> I thought I thought he he will be my companion in, in, in the ministry, but what he is trying to talk there, then goodbye, guy. All right, praise God. We're trying to tell you that the enemy does not know that crucifying the Lord of Glory, inflicting pain and hardship on him, it was rather opening the door for the salvation of humanity. He has been on assignment to inflict pain, hardship, frustration on humankind. Because humankind has been under the condemnation due to the obedience, due to disobedience against God. The Holy Spirit is letting us know that the powers, the principalities, spiritual forces of evil have usurped control over mankind and dictates what should befall man, the way we must live our lives. It unleashes pain and frustration and mayhem on the human generation. And those forces thought that they were in control. Look at the scriptures very well. It must be made known. It must be made known to the principalities and powers by the church. Now, which means that if the church doesn't know the power that embodies hair, if the church doesn't know the power that embodies hair, if the church doesn't know the victory that it has, if the church doesn't know the leadership that controls the church, the church has failed. God has given to the church. He has given to the church every secret arsenal, every insight of the things that he was doing from generation from the very foundation of this earth, the Bible said, he denied nobles, he denied intellectuals, he denied the rich, the rich, and he revealed it unto the church. Now, let me let you know something. Somebody said the devil has power. The devil influences the way we must live. But if you are a born again child, born of God, by the spirit of God, he whose liberty was paid for by the blood of Jesus, then we have no excuse to live victoriously. We have to live victoriously. We have to live to overcome that which influence us to go in a certain way that which influence us to live defeatist life that which influence us to live a shambolic lifestyle the principalities are in, were in charge i wouldn't say i in charge the principalities were in charge they determine our course of life the way we must live, the way we must behave. But God said, now tell those principalities, tell those powers, tell them that thing they are in control and they can determine your destiny. Tell them, tell them because I have made known sufficient evidence of the victory that I have over them. Who is he referring to? 
is referring to the church. By the church to know the manifold wisdom of God which were hidden from the principalities and powers but disclosed to the church. So I have authority to say, you Satan, subdue. You demons, subdue. We have authority and power to break the chain of bondage over the lives of people. That is the reason why no religion can restore the original life that God has ordained except the church of God. No religion. No reformation, no transformed program without the church can ever be successful. The gross sinner can't stop sinning unless Jesus intervenes in the life of that person. And the church has been given that right, a missionary authority to go, to rescue the perishing, to disclose the manifold wisdom of God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Until recently, the Apostle Paul said that the God of this world has blinded the mind of the people so that the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus must not shine on them. He has now realized that those he has held captive, and they are captives of what? of his program and of his agenda have now been set free. Oh, hallelujah. They've now been set free through a name. And the name is who? Jesus. Through a sacrifice. And that sacrifice was blood that Jesus shed. Hallelujah. And that set us free. Praise the name of the Lord. Beloved of God. We have no excuse to deny ourselves from living a victorious life. We have no excuse. We have no excuse to stand boldly in authority and power and to determine what our life must be because it has been made known to the church the manifold wisdom of God. You can live victoriously. You can live unbound. You can live chains free. There's somebody close to you. You can live chain free. You can live unbound in the name of Jesus. Praise God. The Apostle Paul said, there, there was and is a grace that saved him. A grace also that called him into the ministry of the Lord. Is somebody hearing me? Now, in verse 9, upward, now we are going away from verse 10. Verse 9 says that, and to make all men see, and to make what? All men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. What is the fellowship of the mystery, beloved? Salvation is a mystery. Your wellness is a mystery. Are you hearing me? But your wellness, your salvation, your victory, your success is all tied to the identification of Jesus. And if you cannot allow this to happen in your life, then you will keep on struggling, you will keep on complaining, you will keep on murmuring. Fellowshipping with Jesus is a mystery. Are you with me? Fellowshipping with Jesus is a mystery. Mystery is something that is uncovered. Something that is undefined. A mystery is something that we can't quantify. We can't actually tell it how it happened. Beloved of God, I got born again. That day when I was called to the altar, I stood in front. I've been convicted by the message that was delivered. I lifted my hands to heaven. And my pastor told me, say after me. Say after me. That was all. And then I said after him. The seed 
of what I said sunk into my spirit. From that day onward, changes begin to happen in my life. Beloved, I want to let you know, change is a phenomenon. It's a spiritual phenomenon. Are you hearing me? Just as life is a phenomenon, just as growth is a phenomenon, birth is a phenomenon, change is a phenomenon. Praise the name of the Lord. A singer sang a song the other day. It says, something on the inside is working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside is working on the outside. The seed of life has entered into me. The seed of life has taught. Please, it's not mine. This is the owner. <laughs> I just want to free myself. A daughter brought it to me to, to keep for her. So you see, change is what? Change is a phenomenon. Transformation is a phenomenon. You cannot tell anybody how it happened. But all of a sudden you realize that you are in companionship with a higher, higher authority that begins to influence your life, to influence the way you must live, and to influence the way you must go. It's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon that takes place. That that which we gratify, that which is evil, that which is sinful, that which everybody has identified us to for the wrong reason, begin to cease to operate in our lives. Are you hearing me? So fellowshipping with Jesus is a mystery. Somebody say it's a mystery. It's a mystery. And it has its end result. It's a mystery. Can I hear amen here? Can I hear amen here? Now the Bible says, which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Church, let me let you know, when you break fellowship with Jesus, your life will go bad. I'm telling you. When you break fellowship with Jesus, your life will go bad. You will realize that you've gone back to the dogs. The things from what you were saved will now take control over you. You open the door for the enemy to come back. And the Bible said the end result for opening the door for the devil is worse than the beginning. Will be what? Worse than the beginning. So, the Holy Spirit says that, so knowing very well that the forces that were behind it, the forces of waywardness, the forces of in, in what? recalcitrancy, the forces behind what? Rebellion. The forces behind what? Behind, I don't do church. The forces behind, I am tired of church. The forces, is somebody hearing me? The forces behind that, the Bible said, let the church be known. Let the church come alive with this fact that we cannot lay down our guard for the enemy to have a field day. So let me tell you, church. Only entity that has the power to dislodge the devil on this earth is the church. Do you hear me? It's the church. It is not your, your it's not the money you have. Oh. Your, the money you have can dislodge the enemy. It is not your business. The business you have can't dislodge. The enemy, you can have what a good business, good job, but you will still be struggling. You will still be under frustration. You will still be under torment. You will know that 
the way your life is going has a very horrible ending. But God has given us what? The secret to free ourselves from the shackles of bondage, from the hold of darkness. I really can't understand why people say they are born again, but they are still not changed from their heart. Hey, they are still not free from their heart. They say they are born again, but a string is holding them. They say they are born again, but they are still engulfed in the things that was destroying them. Today, I want you to understand. I want you to understand. Do not allow the environment and the details of darkness, the influence of darkness, take over you. Can I hear amen? Do not allow it to take over you because God has been told to us that we as a church have the power has the power to defeat the enemy. Has anybody ever come across this scripture before? Now, verse 11 says that according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. According to what? The eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So let me let you know something. Anything that is eternally purposed means it is from everlasting to everlasting. Are you with me? Our defeat by disobedience cannot hold on for long. God immediately has determined that he cannot lose his identity with people that he has created in his image. Therefore, God put a plan in place and he hid this plan from the devil that the devil will never know what God intends to do. God intends to do what? To buy back. Everybody say buy back. Buy back at every cost, at every price, Humanity from the control of the enemy to himself. How did he pay? He paid by becoming flesh. He paid by becoming flesh, identifying with us as human. Because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Now, so... What man could not do because it has no power to continue to live forever. God has purpose that man is an eternal being. Are you with me? Man is an eternal being. But by what took place in the garden, man's life was going to be truncated. It was going to be short. God has for eternal purpose. For us to live forever has to become like you and I. The word is what? Incarnation. Everyone say incarnation. Incarnation. God becoming flesh. And he dwell among men. Amen. He came to his own, but his own rejected him. But as many that receive him to them gave power to become the children of God. Now, I wanted to link it to the fellowship of his mystery. The fellowship of his mystery. Do you get that? So, when you give your life to Jesus and walk in him, hallelujah, you walk a conquering life, a victorious life, a powerful life. Amen. A joyful life and a peaceful life. This is what happens to us. Do you get that? This is what happens to us. Now, I am very careful not to say that you are going to prosper. I am very careful not to tell you that 
you will have a pillow load of dollars and pound sterling. Because that was not the reason for God's plan. When we are restored, everything fall in place. For he has given us dominion. And he has given us the right of ownership to assess. Everybody say assess. Say assess. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. According to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. In whom we have boldness and access. Amen. Boldness and access. Access to where? Access to all things. Access to all inheritance. Access to all things. Be somebody sure that say, wake up. Because God has given us access. Because God has given us access. Because God has given us access. You know, children have access. Children have access. Are you hearing me? Children have access. Children have access to their parents' inheritance. Children have access to wherever their parents are. So in Christ Jesus, because God has made us sons, he made us joint heirs with Christ. And he, by that, has given us the right, the boldness, and access to go unhindered. Amen? To ask unrestrained. To receive without a limit. Hallelujah. To receive without a limit. Now, God wants to restore to the church of these last days the boldness and the access. This is what we lack. We know about the blood. We know about his death. We know about his resurrection. But we have never turned these things into functional faith. The functional faith is what pushes us to be, to do, to receive. Are you with me? Let me tell you, church, with this functional faith, you can declare on any troubled person around you to be quiet. It was recently that I prayed, I put in my back. But other than that, I have prayed that people will be fine. But to be honest with you, I have never prayed that Putin should leave. I was in that argument with, with my wife. He said, God should touch him. I said, God, don't touch him. Kill him. <laughs> have you heard that? I said, God, don't touch him. Don't let him change. Kill him. Because there was a king in scripture. Amen. That told that he would do the people of God harm. Amen. That king was Herod. And he, he, he actually inflicted pain on the people of God. And the Bible says, God said, you, I'm going to cause stroke on you. And I'll cause worm to eat your body. And that was what I stood on. I said, Lord, let worm eat his body. That was the only time I prayed amiss. I prayed negatively. But I know that God is going to do it. I know that God is going to do it. But beloved, I want to let you know, you can define your environment. You can rewrite your environment. And you can rewrite history concerning you. You were one known to be somebody who is coming from an origin of disdain, disgrace. But now, God has given us access. Access to the throne. Access to the king of kings. And access to the Lord of lords. Tonight, say, Lord, give me that boldness. Because I have never resisted against the blood you shed in my life. Say it with me, because I have not resisted against the blood you shed for my life. If I have ever resisted the blood you shed for my life, 
I come tonight repentant, repentantly to rededicate my life unto you. Lord, change my life and make my life reflective of that you have ordained. In the name of Jesus. He said we have boldness. We have access with confidence by faith in him. We have boldness. We have access and we have confidence by faith in the Lord Jesus. Beloved, a pastor friend of mine narrated an encounter he had. He said he had an encounter with forces of darkness. I knew very well that the way he was going, it was actually, it was actually breaking the covenant of his calling with the Lord and were following names and were following riches, were following big names. I had the opportunity to do the same, but I refused. There's one thing I want to let you know. Means, money does not buy me. You say a big amen. I am telling you the truth. Money does not buy me. Amen. You don't give me something in order to change me. It's not going to work. That is why I walk in my lane. If you come into my lane, you give to me, don't think that you are buying me. You are influencing me to act in a way. No. The faith that I have, the truth that I have, I keep on preaching it. And I wouldn't mind seeing your face and telling you what you have done wrong. Somebody said, this man, you are a hard preacher. I said, yes. Jesus' day, he called some people whitewashed tomb. Full of dead men's bones. If you compare Jesus' preaching to mine, for me, I'm only helping you. I'm propping your faith. I'm a kindergarten. I'm propping your faith. I'm equipping you. Amen. To come up alive. Say amen. Say, Bishop, tell us more. <laughs> Say, Bishop, tell us more. So now listen carefully to me. Church. So this pastor had narrated this dream, the encounter he had. He had an encounter with forces of darkness. He had traveled with one big rich man to the rich man's hometown. Now of late, I have noticed that this guy has suddenly become a puppet of this rich man. He won't go to church again. He won't preach in church again. He has suddenly seen a rich person who wants to spice his bread. He has become a bodyguard. Open the rich man's door. The rich man will have to enter to shut the door and shoot him from everywhere. I had the opportunity to be like that. But I wouldn't. So he traveled with this rich man. And when he came back, he came straight to me. And he said, uh, I want you to interpret this encounter. Now, I had, I had an encounter that forces of darkness dressed in the form of a police with guns, Tommy guns, and they came on me. When they came on me, they said, we're coming to destroy you, we'll kill you. And he stood and he said, you can't kill me. You can't destroy my life. And so the spirit said, in whose name we can destroy you? Then he said, in the name of that rich man. Then the forces said, the devil said, those demons said, oh, they, they laughed. They said, oh, if it's in that dream, we will destroy you. Bam, in the dream, they came on me. Within some few weeks, they came, started blowing me. The stomach started blowing me. Eh? My mind is normal, okay? Uh -huh. But... Yeah, but, 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 but <laughs> my, my, mine is a normal one. 
So he started bloating. He started bloating. He started bloating. Before you know it, to hospital. He was on admission. Before you know it, his livers were gone. His liver was gone. His kidney was gone. His heart gone. And he died. Okay, then he died. The difference between him and you is that you will come against principalities and powers in the name of the Lord. The Bible says we have boldness, we have access, and we have confidence by faith in the Lord Jesus. I'm interpreting this scripture to you. In the Lord Jesus, none of you should think that your future depends on any human thing. Do not ever think that your wellness depends on every, any human being. Your wellness does not depend on any human being. Your wellness depends on God. Your wellness depends on Jesus. Are you hearing me? Even if they are the one buttering your bread, they've just been given the right to do that. For which God will bless them. Do not make any human your God. Are you with me? Do not make any human your God. And don't become a slave. By. To anybody. Can I hear amen? Can I hear amen? Tonight the Bible said. He has given us access. He has given us confidence. He has given us boldness. By Jesus. Why do I say Jesus? Because Jesus' name transcends all name. Jesus' name has power over every name. It has power over dominions. He has power over what? Powers. He has power over principalities. He has power over the destroyer. He has power over whatever. Whatever. Is to destroy you. I want to encourage all of you that reflections on Jesus, reflections on his death, reflections on his finished work, to constantly remind us of this huge blessing that God has given to us. You know, we write text messages and we sign off these text messages every blessing. God bless you. I guess many people don't understand what they are even writing. You don't understand what you are writing. God bless you. Every blessing. Shalom means peace. When we talk about blessing, we are not talking about what? We are not talking about just material things. Many people see blessing as material things. But the blessing we are talking about is the right to have access. The right to have access to grace. You have access to mercy. Hallelujah. You have access to receiving anything that God has for you. Some of us, it is not material things we need. We just need the companionship of Christ. And everything works for our good. Wherever you are, I want you to rise on your feet. Rise on your feet in the name of Jesus. And I want you to rededicate yourself, Jesus, tonight. It's your prayer. It is your individual prayer. Rededicate yourself to Jesus. You see, he said, by the principalities, by the powers, it must be known to them by the church, to these principalities, to these forces of evil, it must be made known to them by the church. Brethren, exercise it. Exercise dominion. Exercise power. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Lift up your hand to God. Somebody lift up your hand to God. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody lift I give you the opportunity to talk to God. You are rededicating yourself. You know that even when you come to worship, you feel some way. You cannot just stand in God's presence and offer to God that living sacrifice. You feel some way. But tonight, it should be a forward ever and backward never 
a right to have access to offer to God the living sacrifice that is due him. I used to worship God. At dawn, I used to pray. I used to worship God until my, my next neighbor will have to knock on the wall. Boom, 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 boom. And then from then on, it has restricted the flow of my worship. So I decided to change where I sleep to a location where those walls will not be knocked at anymore. Now, in your case, nobody is knocking on your wall. Mm. Nobody is telling you that you are disturbing me. But you have decided to be quiet. Mm. You have decided to cut fellowship with God. Mm. Tonight, you say that, Lord, you died on the cross to bring us near to you. So, Father, help us to have access to you. I want you to do that prayer right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to do that prayer right now in the name of Jesus. And the next five minutes, we'll be leaving this place. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, have access to him. Let's have access to the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Begin to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. We are rededicating ourselves to you. We are going back to the roots. We are going back to the roots. We are going back to doing what we used to do in the name of Jesus. We are going back to the roots. We are going back to I want to hear you pray. Open your mouth and talk to God. Talk to God. Rededicate yourself. Nobody is knocking on your wall right now to restrain you. But I want that, that living water, that living water that used to well out from the well of your life. Flow, flow, flow in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, let it flow. Let it flow through you. Let it flow through you. Let it flow through you. The midnight calls. The midnight prayers. Yes, in the name of Jesus. The consciousness. The consciousness to walk in the environment of what? Of victory. Yes, in the name of Jesus. The declarations in your mouth. That desire that you always have to declare what the future holds for you. What tomorrow will hold for you. I want God to restore you back to that. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus.
righteousness, scorned by the ones he gave to save. Upon that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin. death of Christ I live. There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, that bursting forth in glorious day. From the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, since Christ's loss is great for me, for I am his, and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground is sinking sand. commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever plant things from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I stand. I pray tonight that God will restore your right of identity. Amen. Your right of exercising dominion. Amen. Your right of access, Lord. boldness, Amen. and confidence Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. to receive that which the enemy has taken from you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I declare tonight that you have the right to lead you have the right to be victorious. Amen. You have the right to peace. Amen. You have the right to tranquility. Yes. Amen. And this will not be denying you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have the right to live in health. Amen. Divine health is your portion Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You have the right to prosper. Amen. You have the right to increase. Amen. You have the right to be the head Amen. and never be be the tail. Amen. The good God whose presence we are tonight Amen. will order your steps Amen. in the way he has fashioned it. Amen. God bless you. Don't go yet in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to announce to you that tomorrow Friday
been the Good Friday. Somebody asked this question, what is good about a Friday? Well, the good about a Friday is that Christ died for our sins. Amen. So this fr coming Friday, we have a communion. We have a communion for two years or three. We haven't had communion. We have communion tomorrow, Friday. And we have communion on Sunday morning. Praise, Praise God. Amen. So do not miss this great opportunity to remain in a mysterious fellowship with the Lord. I want you to quit yourself in victory. Quit yourself in victory. There are people who have been given the right and access to become and to walk in that realm of victory Christ has given to us. Amen. Pastor Paul, will you come and close the church for me? God bless. Amen. Let's have our eyes closed. Mighty Father in heaven, Lord, we glorify your holy name. We thank you for the beauty of your holiness, Lord. Every time we step into your presence, we are renewed. Yes. Your word has come in power. Amen. Our eyes have been opened. Amen. Someone's fountain has been refilled. Yes. Someone's strength has been renewed. Someone's feet have been stabled for the journey ahead of us, O oh God. Yes. Lord, even as we remember the death barrier and resurrection of your son. I pray that someone's life shall be resurrected, Lord. Amen. That someone's life shall be returned back in your way, in your yes. track, in your journey. Yes. That, Lord, they shall be that which you meant for them to be at the end of the day. Yes. We glorify and honor your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Shall we say the grace. May the, the grace, grace of, of our, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ the and the love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus. is fighting for us. God is on our side. He has overcome his 
we are so overcome we will not be shaken we will not be moved jesus you are here carrying our burdens covering our shame he has overcome yes he has overcome we will not be shaken we will not be moved Jesus, you are here. I will. 